Hello boys and girls, mums and dads, lads and lasses. Yes, today I'm going to be opening up this Princess Jet Vac. Wow! Now this is the second float on air vacuum cleaner that I've tested or will be testing on my channel. The first being of course the Maytag satellite. I haven't actually done a Hoover Constellation yet. But this one I saw on Amazon.co.uk for about £60 and I thought, oh well, I'll have a go of that one because there aren't many vacuum cleaners that float on a cushion of air. I did have a machine quite similar to this a few years ago before I had my channel and it was called an Air Rider. And then I believe a bit later on Bissell introduced more or less the same model under their brand. I sold my Air Rider and regretted it eventually and when I saw this Princess Vacuum on Amazon that looked quite similar I thought oh I'll try that. What the Air Rider had that I don't think the Princess has is a zoom tube similar to Hoover had a zoom tube on their octopus cleaners they also did a sensory with a zoom tube and it basically was a, a flexible hose that had a hidden hose inside so you flicked a switch and you could extend the hose further and then at uh, another flick of the switch the hose would retract automatically into the outer hose. Now Princess is a, a brand I'm not very familiar with now it says Holland on it so I think it's a Dutch company I do know the brand because I believe we got some Princess kitchen appliances in the UK back in the day but they're not widely known in the UK. Now this one it said in the Amazon listing this was actually supplied by Amazon and not a third party seller it did say that um, an adapter would be supplied because I'm a f I have a feeling that this will have a European plug on it Right here is the first thing out of the box, the extension wand. I'm assuming this won't be made in Holland, I'm assuming this will be of course made in China. Well that's a bit different for the, um, oh that's a lovely smooth action, mm, that is very smooth. I like that, normally you have to have to push a catch up but with this you just press the button until it locks in place. So once it's locked in place it will stay locked in place until you press the button again to adjust. That's very light as well. So that's the telescopic tube. Here we have, oh my lord I don't believe it. I was only saying during an unboxing I did earlier today that manufacturers seem to have done away with metal base plates but not Princess. This one still is quite a basic nozzle, it's a familiar looking nozzle to me but at least we've got a nice shiny metal base plate, twin litter pickers, side suction channels plus of course a foot operated pedal so we can lower the brush at the front and a squeegee at the back for cleaning hard floors so that's quite good we have a small bag of tools, I'm assuming that the Princess will take 32mm size tools. I like the look of the hose, I've just got a glimpse of the hose, it looks quite retro. That's not a bad length, sort of a medium length crevice tool. Ah, oh, this is quite, well a bit similar to, well, apart from that odd shape at the front, look at that odd shaping. Uh, that's not going to do very well. Very big gaps. I thought there might be a clip-on brush attachment but no. So there's your sort of upholstery and stair tool. Pretty small oh, dusting brush. It's actually branded it's actually branded My Vac. Has it focused? I can't focus but I don't know if the camera is. That's pretty short and stubbly. Hmm. And we've also got, I've seen that on quite a few cheap cleaners, I was going to say cheap, budget cleaners. His little caddy that fits on the, actually I think it was the, um, 
what was it? The Welco tub vac, I think, had something similar. I've, I've handled one of those recently. I've handled so many vacuums of late, I can't remember what I'm doing, but uh, that will hold the three small tools and it will clip to the tube or the handle of the hose, I expect. Here is the hose. I do like this hose. Makes a change. Quite short. Let's move Princess out the way. Look at the hose. It's not very flexible. It might loosen up with use. But look at that. Look at that design for a hose. Very retro. So you've got uh, your end where you put it into the cleaner and you have a sort of a... Mm, it doesn't swivel. It doesn't swivel this side. You've got this which is like a poor man's SIBO handle. Not, not quite as long and elegant looking as the SIBO one. You've got little indentations for your fingers. Mm. It's alright I suppose. But that hose is very very short. Probably about 1.5 metres. So hopefully Princess is not going to be kicking at my heels all the time when I'm using her. Because this vacuum is female, being called Princess. Here's a little instruction book. Starting with Dutch and then English. I've had a quick look at the instructions online to see if I could find anything else, I, you know, any more about this cleaner before it arrived. It took a little bit longer than things normally take from Amazon. Got a guarantee dated September 2010. This is bagless. <clears throat> I'm hoping... Oh! <laughs> well, Amazon. Unfortunately, folks, I don't think I might have one somewhere. It's if, I, if I can... Oh, no, I don't think I have got. No, I haven't. Oh, yes, I have somewhere. But I don't know if I can find it. I'll have to pause. Because, unless it's inside the unit, despite what it said, UK adapter supplied, it's not supplied in the box and it's not fitted. This is a European two-pin plug. No good to me. I do have somewhere, hopefully I'll be able to put my hands on it pretty quick, I have a plug-in adapter, that, so I should be able to use that. I've also got one of those um, plugs that I can sort of I think that is, as long as that's similar to the German one, I do have a, a plug that might that might fit in and convert that to a three pin. So hopefully I'll be able to show you this going before the demo. I'd like to see it going because it floats on a cushion of air. Floats with you through housework. This is a 1400 watt vacuum. It's got a HEPA filter. 14 meter, it says, cleaning radius, no bag. No bags. Jetvac, a revolutionary cylinder vacuum cleaner without wheels. It hovers on a cushion of air just like a hovercraft. It glides frictionlessly through the entire house, making vacuuming an experience instead of a chore. Well, for me, vacuum cleaning is always an experience and never a chore. Well, I quite like the look of it. It seems a slightly smaller than the air rider vac. Let's check the auto flex rewind. Whoops. Yeah, it's okay. Foot operated. On off switch. I was, I was going to say there's the exhaust vent, but obviously that isn't the exhaust vent because it vents from the back, from the underside. That's how it floats. It won't, I don't think it'll stand. Oh, it does actually stand. That's surprising. It stands on its end. So maybe not so difficult for stairs as you'd, as you'd imagine. So let's have a look at the... Wow, look at that. So this is all we've got underneath. We've got two grills. They've got a diffuser. So that's obviously where the air emits and causes the hovercraft effect. And just underneath we have the rating plate. Double insulated princess. Ah, oh, that's 
That's odd. It's not. It's actually made in Malaysia, where Dysons are made. I, I was expecting China, but it's made in Malaysia. You've got a carry handle. Not sure if that's that does anything. That little groove there. Perhaps. Ah. Well, that fits on it. Don't know if it's supposed to, but that does go in there. The floor nozzle. Now, I have a feeling this has a very primitive bagless system from what I saw of the instructions. It's not even translucent, so you can't even see the dirt. With the air rider vacuum I had, this at least was clear. Um, you could see when to empty it. Oh, it's as, it's as I suspected. I'll show you in a minute. So here's the motor situated there. I bet that would float very well without the without the uh, bagless unit on it would float even more I expect. So here's a clue about how bad this is going to be. I don't think it's cyclonic at all. Right lift remove bin which I have done. So how do we open the bin? How do we get into it? Oh, do not remove cover. It's a bit odd. It's nothing to sort of. Hmm. Let's check the uh, instructions. I don't want to force anything. It seems a bit odd. How do you open up? I think you just pull the back of it uh, back off somehow. It shows, uh, mm -hmm, yes, well, you don't, yes, oh, it looks awful. It's going, to, it's going to clog up pretty quick. If I was going to try any sort of real dirt on this, it's just going to clog so quickly. I wonder if there's any way I can shove a bag in it. Um, emptying. Remove the dust compartment, yes. Remove the filter holder from the dust compartment. Yes, well, yes, I know that, but how? Because there's no, nothing to sort of hold on, on to. Ah, 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 right. So you use that bit to remove the bin, and then there's another catch. There we are. Oh, it's, it's bad. There we are. This is just a dust box and a filter. Very primitive, just like the um, Hoover Jet or the Goblin Rio type cleaners. No cyclonic action. All the dirt will just get attracted to this filter and it will clog so quickly. I expected, you know, I saw it was like this before I bought it, but I just liked it because it's a bit different. But I think it's not probably one you'd, you'd buy. So you can, you can be able to rinse that underwater probably be able to give that a bit of a rinse or a wipe out. So here is the filter, which I assume is washable, it might not be, I hope it is. I'll tell you in the uh, demo. Look at that, oh it's got another filter too, look. Oh, more than one, it's got two more filters. You've got a foam block filter and there's another filter there. So that's going to be the initial filter that's going to get clogged, followed by the foam block. Most of the dirt though should stay in the two initial filters. I don't think a lot should, well some fine dirt, dirt, dirt and dust will pass to the HEPA I expect. There's no energy label with this, I think it's too old. It's probably been hanging around in a Amazon warehouse for quite a while. Well, it's in English anyway. Lift it says lift to open. Can we see that? Lift to open. So it's basically to empty the bin, take this off, da da da, tap that, I expect, and then pop it back in the unit. Ooh, this is poor. You know, had this been bagged, it would be better. Um, 
There may be a way of shoving some sort of bag on here. There is a little... I think I can probably, if I can find a bag in my stash of bags, that a small dust bag might push onto. There's a little tube in there. I don't know if you can quite see it. I might be able to use this with a bag, which would be far better than trying to use it bagless. Once I've used it for the demo though, it's not going to be a, a daily vacuum, no matter how much fun it might be to see it gliding about. Oh, there is a little bit of a bumper all the way around the base, around the skirt, which is good. You'll need that. I do like my um, Maytag satellite, apart from the fact that the hose is too short and it's always knocking into my ankles. Let's pop that on. Release, lock. There we are, that's locked. Yeah, it's very short. Very short hose. Well, I'm just going to pause. I do like that tube though. That tube's very good. It's very light. I do like having the button. Very smooth. And I do like the fact it's got a metal base plate. But I think as soon as I start picking up dirt with this, it's going to be downhill. I think it won't cope with you know, my normal bag of filth. This will clog so quickly. But when used as a regular vacuum, it might cope a little bit better. But there it is, the Princess Jet Vac. Um, no, there's no uh, parking on the cleaner. So I say, unless that part is for parking when it's stood on its end. So at least it does stand on its end to so go in your cupboard. That does actually fit on there, on the front of that. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to find, I don't think that hose is on properly. No, I'll, I'll sort that in a minute. Hopefully I'll be able to find my European adapter and we'll give this princess a quick go. Well, good news folks, it didn't take me long. Fortunately, that was where I could easily find it. Now, this is one I'm going to use for the initial switching on. This is actually fused. It's suitable for 13 amp appliances. It's not, a, you can get a similar one which is suitable for electric toothbrushes and razors. That probably wouldn't have been suitable for this vacuum. I bought this when I initially bought my Miele stick vac from Hungary. I think I bought that for this. So anyway, it does actually fit. So I can actually use this, but I'm pretty sure in the garage I've got a black proper sort of plug that I can screw onto that to give it more of a permanent plug on. But hopefully we'll at least be able to see it going now. I can plug it into a regular 13 amp socket. Okay, I'm almost ready to switch it on. Before I do, I just notice something I didn't point out. There is a little suction valve there, look, on the handle. Let's uh, close it. Not sure how noisy this machine's going to be. Hopefully it's going to work. Being brand new, it shouldn't blow up. A little bit dubious though, because I've needed an adapter. Um, let me just check. I'm pretty sure, because it's a European model, that it will be okay for my voltage. Well, it says it's six, yes, it's 220 to 240 volts. So I'm okay. Okie dokie. Ooh, let's try the princess. Ooh, mmm. Not too noisy, but she smells a bit. She smells a bit. I don't know if it's new motor smell or new. Mmm. Oh well, we, ha we haven't had an explosion or a shock on the channel for a while, have we? Eh? Oh, that does smell. But it could be just... It could just be new vacuum smell. Oh. I'm... I'm not sure. I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't work with the... You know, the electricity supply in Europe 
and the UK is more or less the same voltage. Mm. certainly moves well. She'll move even better with the hose off. The airflow will be a bit improved. Let me just give her... Don't blow up in front... Don't blow in my face, will you? Hmm. It could be just new motor smell, you know? I don't know. The motor sounds all right. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. <laughs> oh dear. I quite like it. It's just, it's just a shame that it's got an awful, awful bagless system. You know, I know this even without picking any dirt up, I can tell. As I'm sure most of you will be able to tell, what I showed you of the filter, it's not going to do very well if I pick up a lot of dirt with it. It's soon going to lose suction and of course when it loses suction, apart from losing performance, it's also going to lose a bit of lift because with the um, filter blocked the air isn't going to flow through the machine and it's not going to float as well. So I will look into sort of seeing if I can fit some sort of bag, adapt something to use it, because I don't know where I'll get spare filters from. It's a shame that uh, they didn't supply the adapter that they should have done. I could complain to Amazon, but you know, it's a good job I've got an adapter. Okay, we'll leave uh, the princess for now. I'll just have another lower shot. We won't be able to see her lifting off the carpet, even if I have the camera right down low. It, it, they don't work like that but the, there will be a cushion of air. It does move very easily. It was, it's effortless to pull along. Yeah, it's all right, but uh, probably not one I'd recommend to the average consumer. Maybe if you're a vacuum collector and you, you like it because it's novel, the fact it floats, maybe go for it. As I said, I got this from Amazon. I've not seen it anywhere else in the UK, but if you live in Europe, you might be able to get it uh, from other retailers. Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and first look at the Princess Jetvac Float On Air Vacuum Cleaner. I will be doing a demonstration of this later on on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload the demo. But in the meantime, please check out my back catalogue of videos, hundreds of videos on various vacuum cleaners, carpet washers and other floor care appliances. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.